Hi, I'm Lucas and I'd like to show you my solar charger that I've built and entered for this year's Hackaday price. No matter what your project is about, if you don't have a wall outlet nearby, you need some way of harvesting power. And often solar is a good choice. If power harvesting is your prime objective, you can use this charger standalone. But you don't have to. You can use it as a module. Say, you need to do data logging in some remote location. This charger can do it for you. With just some extra firmware, it will communicate to your sensors, provide them with power and lock the data all at the same time. Building a simple charger isn't too difficult, but building a good one is a major project in its own right. So don't reinvent the wheel and use this project as a starting point. This project started about three and a half years ago when a friend of mine asked me if I could help him build a solar charger for his allotment garden. The result was this simple Arduino based version. Now despite its simplicity it was extremely efficient. The main downside was that it drew too much current while it was idle. Now charging efficiency is important but it's only one side of the coin. While there is no sun, the charger, any charger will slowly but surely drain your battery. And an innocent little device like this Arduino Uno will drain a typical car battery in only about six weeks. Depending on where you are, in winter there might be snow sitting on your solar panel for weeks preventing you from harvesting any power. So a low standby current consumption is important to make sure the system is still alive in spring. So I designed a standalone version with low standby power consumption as the main design goal. At the same time I wanted more functionality. A nice user interface with a display and a rotary encoder. Powerful outputs that can be individually controlled. Powerful USB charging ports, data logging for temperatures, voltages, currents, just everything. A real-time clock. A USB interface to connect to a computer or laptop. A temperature controlled fan output, just in case. As well as external temperature sensors. The result was this charger that was far more complex. There were two keys to achieving low power consumption while at the same time implementing all the features I just mentioned. Number one, almost everything on this board can be turned off. As a rule, if something is not in use, it's entirely powered off. And number two, I've replaced the Arduino Uno with a PIC18 microcontroller that uses hardly any power when it's sitting idle. This project has evolved from there since. There was a revision C, D, E, and finally F, as I've entered it for the Hackaday price. As you can see, they are now built on professionally made boards, but the main design has remained the same. Hardware is important, but in the end, the quality of the software is what makes or breaks a product. And that's also where most time is spent in development. This solar charger has nothing to hide in this respect. Besides the firmware, there is a solar charger app that communicates with the charger via USB. You can monitor and control everything it does. Check voltages, currents and temperatures or turn outputs on and off. Set a time, configure it to your needs and likes. Access the data you recorded while you were away. And calibrate all the measurements if needed. And because there's always something that can be improved, there is the bootloader that makes it easy to update the firmware in the field. Just start up the device in bootloader mode, copy the new firmware to the drive emulated by the solar charger and press the button. No need for any additional hardware or software. Okay, I think that's it. Please wish me good luck for the finals and thanks for watching.